chapter three today. We're going to learn about the Father, specifically focus on God the Father, how much he loves us. Chapter three, page 17. It should look like this. Oh, yeah, we got to pray. We have to pray. Oh, I have to pray. So let's pray the Our Father, all right? Well, we're talking about the Father and Father, so we're going to pray the Our Father. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So our Heavenly Father, our Father who art in heaven, that's in the Bible, and that's the, our Father. That's actually the, the Our Father is actually right out of the Bible. Jesus teaches his followers the Our Father. Let's pray. Dear God, you made us, and you love us. Thank you for being our Father in heaven. Help us to learn more about you today. Help us know all the good things you do for us. Amen. So the good news is God is our heavenly Father. All right, He loves us. All right, and our fathers here on earth they are intended by God to love us and take care of us. This father's holding his daughter, and she has her arms around him. Kind of, there's love there. He loves his daughter, and she loves her dad. And so God, human father, in a special way, reflect God the Father. All right. Now, fathers do kind of bear, father, human fathers. We we do a different. Uh, humans, uh, human fathers, kind of uh, better or worse, kind of better or worse, I guess, reflect that love uh, to one extent or to more or less. So the fact that you have life, all right, your father communicated life, he's maybe provided for you. Uh, and so sometimes our fathers don't provide for in ways that they they. they they should, or sometimes we have expectations of our father that are way too high. All right, we think that our father, human fathers, are God. They aren't. Uh, so, but we have to recognize. Okay, there's good aspects of of my father, my dad. That's reflecting me of God. And anything that's maybe bad, maybe maybe some bad habits my dad has, or you know, different things, different characteristics that aren't good. Okay, um, my 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 dad isn't perfect. All right, um, but the good qualities is is kind of a window through which God the Father shows His love for you and me. Learn about God's word. God is our heavenly father who loves us and takes care of us. So, so based on Matthew 9, actually, our father, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespass. Really, God, that's kind of, God wants to provide for us. The father loves us. Uh, and we see here, this girl here and kind of this picture, actually, God the father does not have a body. I've mentioned that. This kind of, you can't draw uh, an invisible spirit being, or right? <laughs> uh, so that's kind of. But you see, he has an arm out like this, and we're kind of a blessing. It's like an image of him blessing her, speaking good, kind of affirming her, and his love for her. Like words are a very powerful way we show love and we receive love, right? There are one way we can hurt, uh, be hurt or hurt others, but God, He blesses. He wants to bless us, which actually the word blessing comes means kind of to speak good words, that God speaks good, affirming words. He loves you. He wants you to know that. And his words are always to build us up, not to break us down. But sometimes to correct us because there's a there's something that needs to be repaired, uh, but he wants to build us up. So God shares his love and goodness with us so we can share it with others. God, the Father, loves us immensely, and he wants us to, to share that love with others. So here's two girls, one of them must have fallen, and it's helping, she's helping her get up. All right. All right, here we are. God wants us to show his love for all his children. Draw a line matching a child in need with what we can do to show that child love. Um, the, uh, the lines are already drawn. Uh, there must have been a printing error. Uh, I have the previous edition of this book and it doesn't have the uh, they accidentally must have put the teacher kind of complete <laughs> uh, they did it for you you could just redraw over the lines all right but there's the the boy with the um, 
He's alone. Looks like he's alone, eating alone. Well, someone sits next to him and he's happy, all right? So he's not alone. Hurt. She fell. So someone comes over to comfort her. And he's some, maybe he's struggling with some homework. And so this boy over here, he's getting out. He's, he's here to help him. Don't worry. The next one, they, oh, dang, they circled that one. We'll get to that one. This chapter, they made a mistake. All right. All right. Uh, thank, thank you, God. God tells us about himself. So that we can know him more, we give God thanks and praise for his love. So here's the Bible. Because in the Bible we learn, that's where God kind of has inspired uh, inspired men to write down what God is, wants to be communicated of how he loves us. He's created us. Uh, even when we turn away from him, he wants to draw us back to him and fill us with his love. very important that he, God tells us about himself so we can know him more and so that then we can love. So when, uh, you know, when you love someone or want to know you, you know, kind of part of you need to know about them. You need to know them. All right. And the more you know about someone, you're like, wow, I really, you know, the more you can love them. All right. Friends, those that are in your family, you know, the idea of sharing things uh, that are shared helps you know others better. Uh, and then your love and appreciation for that person can grow. God takes care of us. God, our Father, knows what we need. We ask God for what we need. Right. So God wants us to open our hearts up and ask for what we need. So color the picture of God so in the middle. Okay, they didn't do that. And then circle the many gifts God gives us because he loves us. They already circle them in this chapter. They made a mistake in this book on this chapter. All right. Hopefully the next time they print this book, they don't, uh, they fix that. All right. All these things. God has made everything. It gives us all these good things. All right. I wish you can draw the picture in the center there. And color, color, color. We need to pause it. Pause it. So we can share our color, coloring skills uh, when we zoom. Let's live our faith. We help those around us to be happy. Our holy friends. Uh, so we help those around us to be happy. We want them to grow and uh, kind of be happy. And so we want to help others in that. And our holy friends, God the Father. The more we know God, the more we love him. So we want to learn about more about God so we can know him and love him more. It's a picture of God the Father. Obviously, he doesn't have a body. Uh, but many times there's angels that are with him. He's... Kind of his chariot, his kind of vehicle in the picture is a, the clouds. The Bible speaks of God rides on the clouds, all right? Not literally, but in Scripture, that's an image. So in art, you're like, boom, that's his chariot, all right? That's his, uh, that's his convertible, if you will. <laughs> all right. That finishes the chapter here that God's loving plan for mankind uh, is for our needs as a good father, he provides for us. He's good. He is loving. He wants to share his goodness. And as we go through the Bible and stuff, show us how much God the Father loves us. And our our own fathers are to reflect uh, that love of God the Father. All right. Okay, our next Bible story here. The Tower of Babel. I think we forgot to pray. I forgot to pray at the beginning. I don't know, maybe we did. Um, well, we're going to pray at the end for sure. All right. Uh, the Tower of Babel. For a while, people were good again. But then they started to stop, think that they could do whatever they wanted. Some people built a big city called Babel. They thought that the city was the best place on earth. And they were better than everyone else. To show how important they were, they decided to build a big, big tower. They wanted to be so high that it would reach right up to heaven. By doing so, they were saying that they thought they were just as good as God. That, you know, they didn't need God to get to heaven. They, they didn't, they, they, they're better than God. Well, God was not happy at all when he saw that the people of Babel, what the people of Babel were doing. He loved them, but he knew that he could not let them keep on building the tower. Why? Because he didn't want them to be set in their way of turning more and more away from him. 
So one day, while the people were building the tower, God had everyone begin to speak a different language. They could not understand each other, and everyone was very, very confused. They had to stop their work on the tower because all the workers did not know what the other workers were saying. When we use our words in a bad way by lying or disobeying our parents, disobeying our parents or saying bad words, we are just like the people of Babel. We should use our speech only to help people and say good things about them uh, and not to plot bad things. All right. So these people, they thought, oh, they're building this tower uh, because they were essentially, we, won't, we, we don't need God. We can, we can provide for everything for ourselves. Um, so God decides, you know what, I want. I don't want you to be turned away, locked away from me, or locked, kind of, uh, locked in away from me. So that's why he confuses their language, because he wants to draw them to himself. That's, they're not going to be happy. Even after they get done with it, they get done with this tower, they're going to be miserable. All right? We need, we need God to be truly happy. All right? So let's, let's end with prayer. We'll pray. Oh, we did. We began with our Father. That's right. We did pray. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're going to close again with the, once again, with the, the glory be. So in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.